Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So welcome to our next JS Crash Course. Now this course will be available in two formats. It's going to be available in a playlist format. As some of our community members actually love the shorter videos and I'm gonna leave it in a longer format. So all in one video. Now, the reason for this course is we created a Laravel API for the backend and we're gonna use Next.js for the client side. So if you're new to the channel, so I'm going to explain this course mostly for people that don't even know React or don't even know JavaScript. It will be helpful, but not necessary. So that we can all basically start from the same point when we actually create the client side for our API. Now, what is Next.js? Next.js is basically a React framework for production. Now, in this case, it's a framework for a framework. Now, React technically is a library, but Next.js makes it much easier actually to build React applications. It basically simplifies the whole process. It pre-renders HTML, which in our case, it is very useful for SEO. So technically, Next.js is a full stack framework because you can actually build an API with Next.js, but I love doing it with Laravel as I know Laravel and PHP quite well, but you can do it with Next.js. You can do everything from it itself. Anyway, what tools do you need? We need two tools. We need Node.js for our packages and we need a code editor. Uh, for code editor, I'm using Visual Studio Code, or you can use Sublime or Atom or whatever code editor you prefer. Now for Node.js, you can go to the website. So if you're watching this in the future, yours might look a little bit different in the version. So in this case, you can use 16.14 or you can use 17.6. So recommended for most users, choose whatever one you prefer. You can download for your operating system and you can do the same for your code editor. In my case, I'm using Windows and you can use OS or Mac OS or Linux. All right, so that's it. So install it and I'll see you guys in the next part where we can actually start just in creating a Next.js app and I'll explain everything to you right there. All right, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.